Hey guys, welcome back to the analysis which are provided to you by the team of Toko. This video is to go with the post on our social platforms on some ways which could lead into a goal, which we have tried to discover six ways, and these moves at some point will eventually lead into a goal. At number one, we are going to have a shot. And at number two, it is going to be a dribble. At number three, we are going to have a true ball. At number four, it is a triangle. At number five, a direct attack. And lastly, at number six, it is a cross. So in today's video, our main focus will be at number four and at number six, because these two have different types of triangles and crosses respective. Let's jump right into it. So we have three different types of triangles. Let's start with the type, which is an external triangle so with an external triangle the player having the ball has to try to drag this opposition fullback out of his position in order to make this pass and make an overlapping run behind the opposition fullback which has been dragged by this player who had the ball and made a pass and to get the pass back in order to make a full triangle after an overlap run. So this external triangle is made by the first pass, whereas this player had the ball and this opposition fullback was dragged out of his position in order to get the attention of the player. After this player passed the ball here, he made an overlapping run behind the space which was created after the opposition fullback was pulled out of his position and the teammates made the back pass into the player in, into the first player which had the ball after the overlap run to create a whole triangle in the wing space or the half space of the football pitch depending on how you divide your pitch and the second triangle is the vertical triangle with this vertical triangle let's say we are up against a back four of players so these two center backs will usually be aggressive will defend by pressing so let's say this player has the ball and this is the teammate of this player this player will pass the ball to his teammate after passing the ball to his teammate it will drag this aggressive center back out of his position to leave the space behind the center back so that after passing the ball to the teammate, this player will make a run into the space which was created after the opposition center back was dragged out of his position in order to get the ball into this zone so that a goal scoring opportunity may be created. And the last triangle, which is usually created, it is the internal triangle. It is not that different from the external triangle because the only thing that is different from the external triangle it is the run that is made here in the external triangle there was an overlapping run and here in the internal triangle we are going to experience an underlapping run which means the player is taking the triangle into or towards the goal post of the pitch and after passing the ball here this teammate of his will drag out the opposition player and there will be space created in the defensive line in the opposition defensive line and the player which had the ball first will make an underlapping run to receive the pass back at the space which was created after pulling the defender out of his position and if the football player 
overlaps or underlaps. They usually pass the ball to another member of the team or a teammate and run beyond that player so that they can receive the ball again or they are ready to receive the ball into the space which was created to drag other defenders out of their position. We also have different types of crosses. We will start with a cross which is an in-swinging cross. So an in-swinging cross is usually a cross which arises when a player who is right-footed is on the left side of the football pitch and vice versa. And it is an in-swing cross in this case. The player prefers to cross with the dominant foot, which is the right. Here, the player has crossed the ball, which has resulted into an in-swing cross with his left foot to make a shot or a cross. Because if the player or his teammate did not reach to the ball whenever he put the ball into the goal, into the goal box, it will result into a shot. Then we have another type of cross, which is the opposite of an in-swing, an out-swinging cross. So with an out-swinging -swing, out swinging cross, it is a cross of the ball kicked so that it curves or bends outward from and across the face of the goal rather than onto the goal. Because the in-swinging cross is the cross onto the goal and the out-swinging cross is the cross outward. At this instant, it will be an outswing cross when the player is a right-footed player, whereas to cross the ball and the ball to bend away or curve away across the face of the goal, then we can call this an outswing cross. Then the last type of a cross we will have, it is a driven cross. A driven cross, it is a cross that usually has more power onto it as the player will look to cross the ball here in the corridor of uncertainty. After driving the, the ball or the cross into the corridor of uncertainty, it's usually between the goalkeeper and the last line of defense, whereas the direction of the runs of the last line of defense is towards the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper is uncertain where as to go and fetch the ball or the defenders will get there first and at some point this situation causes on goals so this was all for today's video guys and if you like the video you can check out our channel i will put the link to the channel in the description of the video as you are always welcome to recommend our channel to anybody as a like a share and a subscribe to the channel would really go a long way Thank you.